Bolillo. Who the fuck that? Isn't that just a type of food? Shout out Bolillo. <laughs> Rub salmonella. Sal 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 salmonella. Sal like you about to start rapping or what? Salmonella. Salmonella. Sal 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 like what? I thought bros about to start freestyle. I, I was about to. Did you finish school? Did you? There's something very important we gotta talk about. And no, it's not the fact that I have Lucas hat, okay? Something very important. Guess what time it is, boys? It is time for the Roblox Innovation Awards. And there's probably gonna be a lot of beef huh? because first of all, obviously people are choosing what's their favorite game, what's the favorite new game, favorite creators, favorite blah 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 and stuff like this. So first of all, let's get this out of the way. It doesn't matter my opinion, doesn't matter your opinion, it matters about what is actually the good or quote unquote best game of the moment or of the year or of the month or whatever, right? And we're gonna be talking about why it's good, how it's kept up with its updates, how it treats its community, and how it is as a game overall. All right, let's get into the Roblox Innovation Awards already and see the games. If you predict the correct one for the daily, then you get points and stuff. Let's talk about RDC voting. Pick your favorite nominee in each category. Okay, so this is like the main ones. People's Choice. All right, People's Choice. Dress to Impress. Gunfight Arena? What? Who even plays that? How's Gunfight Arena at the top, dude? Driving Empire? This is what I'm telling y'all. This game isn't even big. When did you ever hear? Oh, yeah, Driving Empire just had its biggest update. I've never heard about that. Let's talk about the strongest battlegrounds and dress to impress, first of all. Number one, from what I've seen when I play the game, it's literally just PvP. Oh. And, like, when the updates come out, it's just the character. But honestly, I feel like all these Roblox games that are PvP-wise, they have to step up and add different stuff or else the game is gonna die. But how is Dress to Impress, a game where you dress, supposed to compete with the strongest battlegrounds? A game where you PvP or a game where, it, like, it's fashion? How is that supposed to compete with each other? In this perspective, it's just someone's opinion that's gonna win the competition. Best new experience. Ooh, okay, I see a good game already. A Dusty Trip. Yo, I've made a video on it too, and it's a very enjoyable game. Like, it has its good stuff about it, like playing with friends, you know, having fun while making the car, being able to clean it and stuff. There's monsters, aka the zombies that you find. There's stuff you can pick up and have fun with. It's a very good game. From what I've seen recently, that someone bought this game, right? Because as soon as the person bought it or whatever happened, they added wheels. They're money grabbing, and that's what really breaks a game a lot of people what they do is money grab here we go again we have dress to impress twice how is a dusty trip competing with dress to impress bro with fashion oh my god bro i'd say enemy defenders is a pretty well-built game it's a fun tar defense it's not really a game that money grabs you know let's get into souls rng i haven't really fully played the game but i know the concept i know that the concept behind souls rng is literally just spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning until you get like an aura or whatever that's really good no bro honestly no i don't know how you guys enjoy just clicking and clicking and clicking and all you do is spin for something i i don't understand so honestly a game that i really enjoyed and had a lot of fun in and i have seen that it's not going too crazy for money grabbing i would say is a dusty trip i enjoyed that game it was pretty fun best ugc creator oh no i don't really know my roblox creators other than creecraft uh think noodles whatever his name is um lc lc tim the Catman or something. I don't really know any of these, so I want to see what you guys think is the best UGC creator. But for this one, I'm gonna skip. Here we go. Best video star. Ah, <sighs> here we go again. It's it's like another thing. It's just favoritism. This is just favoritism. I don't know, honestly. I can't tell. So next, never played any of these. And what, a, bro? Vance World, bro? What? What is that? I'm gonna have to skip that, bro. I, I don't even know what these categories are, honestly, bro. I, I don't understand. Me no, me no understand, though, bro. Me no speak English, English, show, bro. Here we go. Predictions. Let's run it. Best social hangout. Oh, my God. Best social hangout. You mean, like, the best, the, the favorite game of Drake? Oh. I'm not choosing any of those. I'm not gonna lie, bro. It's just full of a bunch of e-daters, you know, quote-unquote role play. But Drake knows what I'm talking about. Drake and Kendrick and Dr. Disrespect, Dr. Disrespecting Children. Knows. Best tycoon. Don't really play tycoons, but I've played theme park and I've had a lot of fun on it. Best fighting, blocks fruits. Huh? Shut your s it's lagging and lacking, bro. Because they said they were gonna come out with an update a while back, and it's like been five, six months or something. Even though I don't really like it, like the most, I would have to go with the strongest battlegrounds. 
it's a better PvP, honestly, because Bloxford is lagging. All right, next. Oh, look, we found yeah, Groove from the Minions nice W. Side. Best video star, bro. Look at Creek. Oh, bro, my with God. The bro. Best roleplay sim. Oh, Lord, bro. Caven. Oh, my Lord, bro. Bloxburg. Oh, my Lord. Barry Avenue. Adopt me. It is time to talk about Brookhaven. You guys got to give yourselves a little more respect. Number one thing about Brookhaven. But I'm just saying that you guys deserve better. We've been on the platform for such a long time. We've been seeing the game for a while now. And from what I've seen, is Brookhaven looks the absolute same. I, I get it. I understand. It's an RP game. It's for little kids. They deserve better, bro. They deserve a better looking game if it's going to be one of the top, you know? Especially with them charging for everything. Oh, you want a better car? Sorry, Brokey. You need some Robux. That's outrageous. Outrageous. I'm going to just go with Brookhaven just to choose it for you guys. And I respect you guys. Best fashion. I don't really play it. What do you do on Roblox? Always dress to impress with my baddies. For the best fashion, number one game, just because of that meme, dress to impress. Yes, sir. Best education. I haven't even played any of these, bro. I'm going to have to go with Word Bomb because that was pretty fun. Like, it makes you create words on the spot or you get blown up. <laughs> Playing dress to impress my baddies. He puts <laughs> it Best racing. I don't even play racing games. <laughs> Best plugin. Um, don't, I don't know. Best original UGC. Nah. <gasps> Best original UGC has to go to the mini plushie bundle. Best horror. Ooh. -hoo. Yo, let's see. The mimic. Piggy's not really horror. It's kind of just like MM2, low key. Don't know what this is. Doors. Ooh. Doors versus the mimic. Mm. That's that that's tough, bro. That's actually tough because doors, it's like you can always play with friends, especially at night. It's like such a fun game. But the mimic, we're talking about horror. Doors isn't scary. So I would have to go with the mimic. I'm choosing the mimic for that one. Best shooter? Gunfire arena? No. No. I haven't played that. Arsenal? Honestly, I wouldn't choose Arsenal just because of all the hackers and scripts and all that. I don't know, bro. I feel like people target you and stuff too. I'm gonna have to skip that one. I'm gonna have to skip that one. Best obby? Ooh, I just played Tower Fall the other day. Ooh, you know what? For the best obby, I'm gonna have to choose obby, but you're on a bike because that game was a very fun time. Next, best action slash RPG. Oh no, Blocks Roots. You have to pay to play Deep Woken. Dungeon Quest. Ooh, I think I've played Dungeon Quest. Or dungeons and RPGs. I'm gonna have to go with Blocks Fruits. Blocks Fruits is like, I mean, out of all the categories here, Blocks Fruits is a pretty good game. Okay, best collaboration. Boxing Beta, Liftopia, Restaurant Tycoon 2, or Driving Empire. I would have to go with Boxing Beta. It's a pretty fun game. You just box people up, you know, you go crazy, you go ham on them. Best use of tech, like with guns and stuff. I haven't played Clip It, but you know what? I would go for Murders vs. Sheriffs. That's a pretty good game. Best creative direction. Ooh, I haven't played this game, but it looks good. I have to try it out. I'm going with Dress to Impress, guys. Sorry, I have to do it. I have to do it. I had to do it. Best branded experiences. Garden of Bam Bam. What the skibbity? Lamborghini Lab. What the hell? Van Tool. What the heck? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to skip that one, guys. Honestly, I haven't played any of those. Best use of voice and audio. Ooh, I have not played any of those. Auto Torture. That has to be the winner. That has to be winner from the four. It's a very fun multiplayer game with friends and stuff. I like that one. Next, best strategy. The strongest. Tower Defense. Strategy. Um, what the Sigma? No, there's no strategy there, bro. It's, it's just PvP. Ooh, a dusty trip. I'm giving the best strategy to a dusty trip. It's a really good game. Best studio? Don't know the studio. Best new experience for one of the newest games? Dusty trip. I love it. It's good. Best tycoon? Theme park. Theme park. We have to go with theme park. The OG. Best tycoon. Awesome. I like it. Best fighting. Here we go. Final category. Blocks fruits is lagging. PvP. Strongest battlegrounds is pretty good. I'm gonna have to go with TSB. We're going for a TSB. I'm sorry, Blocks Fruits, but I have to. The the fact that they just drop a character every update. You know what? Between actually fighting, fighting, I would choose the strongest battlegrounds. I don't know if you guys agree, but that's in my opinion. Lastly, between both TSB and Dress to Impress, I'm going to leave that for you guys to decide. Let me know in the comments which one is the best of the category in people's choice. That's going to conclude the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, understood what I'm talking about, where I came from, from the perspectives of the community, between the people, between the devs. I hope you guys understood it, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.